So here in Mari for the last video where we just have a look a few of the tools here. So I don't go through all of them, but I think a few one are uh, worth to mention it. And let's start here. Um, we can use for that, I think we can just, um, let's, let's have a look at if you can make, if we can make this a bit smarter here. Um, we can let me think about quickly yeah come on let's let's do it here so we can inverse uh, inverse insert here a new merge node go for a paint node make it with an alpha of zero and because we are painting here um, in the color channel disable the scalar one and i think out uh, okay not out saving kicking in here's the node so if you painting here on this paint buffer or the, the piece of glass, how it's often called, there is something which is very useful. So let's say we have painted here um, our data and it's still not baked down. There's something really cool and that's the warp tool here. So we can select here our region and add a bit more subdivision to it. And now we can warp the actual data here that's super handy if you want to fine-tune some decals or some 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 breakups that's actually a really cool thing here and i definitely want to mention it so that's super handy so you can fine-tune it and you can press b on the keyboard to bake it down and you have it warped there so one thing to mention as well here is under, where is it? I think it's under painting. Yes, you have here a few masking options. So let's collapse it here. So we have here the depth mask, which is turned on off by default. So you can turn it on and it will create a mask for, for the depth. So I think it's possible to display it. I think it's, Set on the keyboard. No, it's not set on the keyboard. Then it's okay. Then it's not that set on the keyboard. Uh, where is it? There is a masking here, I think. Yeah, make it make preview enabled. So now we can we can adjust here the mask. So what does that mean? So we have here then our paint buffer, and if you paint here on so uh, such round. Um, objects or even if it's a sharp edge you will get some some streaks behind it because yeah it's it's kind of projecting your your actual data here and with this mask you can you can work around a bit so if, if you have it that way so it will start fading it out instead of creating um, really ugly streaks and I recommend to have it enabled on a on a certain point here and we have some edge mask here as well that's for the edge on which edge fall off it will start creating and uh, we need to enable it it will start to create such a mask as well so they are super handy i really recommend to have a look on this masks here so you will definitely get into a point where you will use them quite a lot, I think. So I've it anyway enabled per default. No idea why they are why they are off here. Um, so it does basically kind of the same. It's not measured the depth from the camera. It's measuring the angle here. So you can say, hey, um, fall off here just more on the on the um, sharper angles. So yeah, that's definitely also something to mention here. And what do we, we have here as well? So you can mirror projecting. So if you enable here the mirroring, oh, not here, it's here. So you can have it here on mirror projecting. So give it a moment. You can see it with a red line here in the middle when it's enabled. Uh, now we have here uh, disable the mask here. So now you can you can see it it mirrors the projection here. So we can clear it 
quickly. That's super super helpful, um, especially on on creatures as an example. So you don't um, have to paint the complete thing, just half of them, and in the end you can disable it and start breaking up a bit the mirror stuff. That's also worth to mention. So what do we have more? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, Mari is super powerful and it has so much options and so much more um, things to do. Um, I, I highly recommend look through the notes which are inside of Mari and be active on some Discord servers or communities. Ask there some some questions and watch other tutorials. So Mari is, is a bit of a rabbit hole. <laughs> you can you can deep dive so so much in this um, amazing tool and yeah i hope this tutorial series was a bit helpful to you to get a smooth start into the tool so i know it can be a bit tricky at the beginning especially when you come over from substance painter so you have to wrap around here a bit your your head to get used to the tool but um, as soon as you work it a bit with it and you did this few small projects you, you will love it, I think so, yeah. And I think that's enough said. And I wish you happy painting and see you then. Bye bye.